Hi YouTube, Art here again with another video. I know two uploads in one week is kind of a lot for me, but I have new filters done. They're not for Warzone, they're for multiplayer and zombies, and I just wanted to get these out to y'all before I get caught up in the craziness of the Warzone release. As soon as that drops, we're going to be designing a new Warzone Audio Masterclass, integrating that with hardware and some follow-up videos, doing some settings guides, doing some controller guides for some new hardware that I really like. So we are going to be busy, but... In the meantime, I have cooked up some new multiplayer filters. There are going to be four in here just for multiplayer. One's called Emerald, one's called Ruby, one's called Neutral, and one's called Super Saturated. They all kind of do what their names allude to. I've also included two for zombies that are kind of more fun and stylized. They're called 28 x Fills Later and Vintage Undead or Vintage Dead, I'm sorry. So those will be included in a download link below. I'm going to show a quick little trailer I cut together of all of the different filters wiping from stock color to the different filters. They're not as needed in this game because they definitely did a better job with visibility, but it definitely makes the game look really cool. Even if you don't use them on your monitor, which I'll provide instructions for again at the end of the trailer, you can use them in OBS if you stream to at least make your stream look really, really nice. And you can do that by selecting your video source, right clicking apply filter, and in the effects tab, you want to apply LUT filter and then browse to the files that I will be linking below. So here comes the trailer. After that, quick little updated instructions on how to run the filters on your monitor. Now, if you've been using my filters for a while, you probably have all of this installed. So all you need to do is download that Google Drive link, unzip those files, and those cube files in there will be loaded into DWM LUT. Now, if you are new and you're just finding this video, I've linked both the old videos down below where I'll go into great detail on how to set it up, but I'll go over it quickly here. So there will be a link down below to two different GitHub links, and it kind of depends if you have issues with the first one. If you look for DWM LUT, I just Googled it right now. This is the first link I get. And if you see here on the page, it says currently unmaintained. See here for updated version that works on Windows 22 H2. So this is where you would want to go. This is going to be the first link down below. It's the lore Alex link, and that's the one everybody should try first. Now, if you have problems, if the app gives you an error, then you should go back and try the Ladoge version and see if it works for you. An important thing to not do that some people were doing. On both of these pages, you want to download the latest release right here. 
So again, you can see it right here. Of course, you want to start with the Lorelex link, like I said. Download the latest release, extract the zip file, and put it on, put that folder on your desktop, somewhere that you're not going to lose it, and rename it to something. I rename mine to Filter Factory. Inside that folder, you can put all of the cube files that you will download from the link down below. Once you have that installed, the app runs very simply in the background. All you have to do is browse. You can see my old MW2 filters are here. You pick a filter, you hit open, and you hit apply. And it applies the filter. You guys can't see it because I'm using NDI to send my video. But regardless, my monitor changed color. It's as simple as that. If you did need more help and you wanted more detail on how to install these, again, the original instruction link is down below. It's a YouTube link way back on my channel like a year ago almost. Follow that link. You'll get a nice big breakdown. The EFT filters are no longer available because they banned those. I also just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 15,000 followers over on Twitch. That just happened while I was recording this video in OBS. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you guys live on release day. I hope you guys enjoy these filters. We will be making more, like I said, for the Warzone map. Once that drops, I just don't know what that skybox looks like. I don't know what the lighting looks like. I don't know what the problem parts are on this map. So the filters I provided today are very pretty. They're very stylized. They help a little bit with visibility as well. They are based on the original filters that I made for MW2. So if you guys aren't already, follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash art underscore is underscore war. I'm going to be live tomorrow. Um, before the update, going over whatever patch notes they give us live during the update, testing new audio and working on a new Warzone audio masterclass for y'all. So make sure you follow me over there. Like and subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I upload another one. And until the next one, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.